Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. This is a lesson about dividing a whole number by tens, hundreds and thousands. Let me give you a number 430 and let's say that we want to divide this by 10. Okay, so how I go about doing this is first of all, let me take just this number, okay, the given number. The given number to us is 430 and let's think about what 430 means. Well, 430 is 43 tens, right? Now, 43 tens is to be divided by 10. Now, think about it. You have 43 tens and you want to divide it by 10. So, how much will you get? Now, this is as good as asking you, how many tens can 430 be divided into? And the answer to that is 43. Now, consider this. Say you are given... 4,300, okay, and that you have to divide by 10. Now, how will you divide that? Well, 4,300 has got how many tens? Well, 4,300 has got 430 tens, right? If you go back to your place value uh, lesson, you'll recall that 4,300 has got 430 tens. So, there are 430 tens in 4,300 and that you want to divide by 10. So now that's easy to do. How many, how many, uh, what, what's the result of this now? Well, the result of this is the tens and 10 get cancelled out. So there are 400 and there's 430. That's the result. Similarly, if you have something like say 43000, 0, 0, say this is what you're given, 43,000. And that is to be divided by 10. First again, you think of this in terms of tens. Now, how many tens are there in 43,000? Well, in 43,000, you have 4,300 tens. So there you go. You have 4,300 tens and that's to be divided by 10. So now you're left with is 4,300. So here, when you divide 430 by 10, you get 43. When you divide 4,300 by 10, you get 430. And when you divide 43,000 by 10, you get 4,300. 4, so let's consider the first uh, example here, okay, and where we are dividing 430 by 10. See, the number given to us is 430, and the number that we are dividing it by is 10. Now, how many zeros are there in 10? Well, there there is only one zero in 10, and the number that we are given also has one zero. So the zero and zero get cancelled out and what we are left with is just 43, this part. In the second example, we have 4,300 and that's to be divided by 10. Now 4,300 has got two zeros, but 10 again has got only one zero. So this one zero and this one zero get cancelled out and what you're left with is 430 and that's the result here, that's the quotient. In the third example, you have 43,000, which has got three zeros and 10 still has only one zero. So this one zero and this one zero get cancelled out and all that's left for the quotient is 4,300, right? So the other way of writing this is 430 divided by 10. So you say upon 10, okay? And then you see one zero and one zero gets cancelled out. And that what's all that's left for quotient is 43 and that's the result 43. In the second case we have 4,300 that's to be divided by 10 okay now let's cancel out the zeros and that all that's left is 430 which is the same as here. In the third example you have 43,000 okay so that's with three zeros and the number to be divided to divide it by uh, is 10 and that has only one zero. So the one zero from 10 and the one zero from the given number get cancelled out and all that's left is 4300 or 4300 which is the same as that. Okay, so that's dividing by tens. How about dividing by hundreds? So let's say for example that we have a number like 4300, okay, and that we want to divide it by 100. Now, how many hundreds does 4,300 have? Well, 4,300 has got 43 hundreds, right? So, you write 43 hundreds. Now, 43 hundreds is to be divided by 100. Well, the result of this will be the hundreds and the hundred get cancelled out. So, all that's left is 40 
three. Now, if you were given 43,000 and you were asked to divide that by 100, how would you go about doing that? Well, 43,000 has got 430 hundreds. Okay, so actually you reduce it down to how many hundreds there are in the given number because you, are, you have to divide the number by 100. So when you, have, when you have to divide the number by tens, you go about finding out how many tens there are in the given number. And if you have to divide a number by hundreds, you go about finding out how many hundreds there are in the given number. Okay, so in our case, in the second example here, we have 430 hundreds and that's to be divided by 100. So how many, uh, how much will be left after dividing? Well, the hundreds and the hundred here get cancelled out. So all that's left for quotient is 430. Again, if you were to use the other method of cancelling out the zeros, you would see, okay, there are two zeros in hundred and two zeros in the given number. So what's left then after cancelling out the two zeros? You're left with 43. So you write it down as 4,300 upon 100 and then you start cancelling out the zeros. 1 0, 1 0. Get cancel out, the second zero cancel, get cancelled out, second zero here gets cancelled out and all that's left is 43. Right? Now how about uh, 43,000? 43,000 divided by 100. Okay? And you start cancelling out the zeros. 1 0, 2 0. 1020. We cancelled out. All that's left is 430, which is the same as this. Alright, so that's dividing by hundreds. Okay, the interesting part still hasn't come yet. We'll do one more dividing by thousands before we come to the interesting part. Okay. So we have, let's see what, let's uh, do only one. Let's say we have 43,000. Okay. And that's to be divided by 1,000. Now, how many thousands are there in 43,000? Well, as the name says, there are 43,000s, right? There are 43,000s in 1,000, and 43,000 is to be divided by 1,000. So what will uh, you get? Well, the thousands and the thousand get cancelled out, so you're left with just 43. So if you were to do it like this, uh, cancelling out zeros, you would say, okay, there are three zeros in 43,000 and three zeros in 1,000. So the three zeros get cancelled out. One, two, three. One, two, three. And all that's left is 43. And that's the same as this 43 here. Okay, that's easy. Okay, now this was easy because you knew that there were, uh, because all you were given is like, you know, tens, hundreds of thousands. But sometimes you, the numbers given to you uh, are not as simple or not as straightforward as tens, hundreds, and thousands. So say you're given a number like 480 and you've been asked to divide it by, say, 40. Now, there's no straightforward 10 or 100 or 1,000 here. So you've got to first find out how to break it up into 10 or 100 or 1,000. Now, obviously, since 40 is less than 100, we'll break it up into tens, okay? Now, this means that we keep 480 as such, all right? We keep 480 as such, and we try to break uh, 40 in terms of tens. Now, 40 is 4 times 10, okay? This is your 40. 4 times 10 is 40. So, now you have to divide 480 by 4 and by 10, or you could write it as you know, 10 times four, 4 times 10 is the same as 10 times 4. So this is equal to 10 times 4. That's 40. So 480 is to be divided by 10 times 4, right? Because 480 is to be divided by 40. So this means 480 is to be divided by 10, and that has to be divided by 4 okay so this is what it means now you're, you're thinking you're probably thinking why there is a multiply here and why is there a divide here well because this is inside the bracket and when you uh, move it to outside the bracket the multiply sign the multiplication sign becomes the division sign okay so that means when 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 something is inside the bracket it means the whole term has to be divided or uh, whatever this operation is this means that this operation is to be done on the entire thing inside the bracket. Okay, so this means that 480 is to be divided by the entire thing in, inside the bracket. 
and the entire thing is in our case 40 okay so 480 is to be divided by the entire thing inside the bracket which is 40 so what we are saying is 480 is to be divided by 10 and it is to be divided by 4 so first we do this operation 480 divided by 10 and then the result is to be divided by 4 okay now what is 480 divided by 10 well 480 divided by 10 is simply 48 because the 0 and the 0 get cancelled out and that divided by 4 is now very easy 48 divided by 4 is 12 so you get your answer 480 divided by 40 is equal to 12 and that's the quotient now the other way of doing this is you take 480 and when you say divide you say upon 40 so you have 480 upon 40 now this is equal to 480 divided by 4 times 10 right now your 10 and the, the 0 from the 10 and the 0 from 480 get cancelled out and all that's left is 48 divided by 4 and that is equal to 12 okay or there's yet another way of doing this where you don't split up the 40 what you do is you simply take 480 and you divide that by 40 now what you have is the 0 and the 0 get cancelled out all that's left is again 48 divided by 4 and that is equal to 12 so that's that about that now how about i mean these are all straightforward things still straightforward okay this is still a multiple of uh, uh, 10 or 100 thousand and you can figure out how to convert that to 10 or 100 or thousand but suppose that this is not a multiple of thousand uh, 10 uh, in our case say suppose this is not 40 and maybe this is 38 or something and maybe this is not 480 or you know something it's different then how do you do the division how do you carry out the division without using a calculator so uh, let me let me give you an example. Now say there are say 802 stamps. Okay, we have 802 stamps and we have say 38 children. Okay, we have 700. Uh, sorry, we have 802 stamps and those we have to divide among 38 children. So how do you carry out the division now? For one, what you could do is, you know, use a calculator and do, okay, 802 divided by 38. How much is that? Or, you know, or you could take a pen and paper and do this division. Or if you wanted to do it mentally or quickly, what else you could do is, you know, you round off each of these two numbers to the nearest uh, 10 or 100. So say, suppose we round off the first number to the nearest uh, 10 or even 100 it's still the same so if you round off 802 you get 800 right so now you have instead of 802 stamps you round off to get 800 stamps and the next number instead of 38 children we round that off to 40 children okay that's the nearest 10 so now we have to divide 800 among 40 children so now what we are doing is 800 divided by 40 and that is equal to 800 divided by 10 divided by 4 we just saw that in the previous slide that this is 800 divided by 10 divided by 4 because 40 is 10 times 4 or 4 times 10 and after you take it out of the bracket it becomes divide by 10 and divides by 4 so 800 divided by 10 now okay, let's do this operation first 800 divided by 10 well that gives us 10 zero and 10 zero from each of these two numbers get cancelled out and you get 80 here and that you have to divide by 80 is to be divided by 4 next so what is 80 divided by 4 well it's a simple straightforward 20 so if you divided 802 stamps among 38 children and you didn't care exactly how many child got then you you can say that you know each child got approximately 20 stamps okay so you would write something like this 802 divided by 38 is approximately equal to 20. all right so that's the end of uh, this lesson uh, now you could go and do some practice exercises so you get perfect and for practice exercises visit www.homecampus.com 
dot com dot sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye.